Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. I recently found this awesome video by Dansky on how to create a drip effect in Photoshop, and I wanted to translate these methods into GIMP. So let's get started. After you've imported the photograph you want, duplicate it and make the top layer active. Next, select the Warp Transform tool. In this tool's options, we want to make sure this first dropdown is set to Move Pixels. And I will adjust the brush size and hardness to my liking. You can select Real-Time Preview if you want to get a better idea of what your transformations will look like. Now I'm going to continually brush down on parts of the lips to start the appearance of drips. Once you're happy with how this first step looks, we're going to change the drop down settings over here to Grow Area. Again, adjust the brush size to your liking. I'm going to use this at the ends of the drips to create more of a drip look. Next, we will go back to this drop down and select Shrink Area. Now, going along the middle parts of these drips to contrast them from the grown ends. You can always go back to any of these drop down options to adjust the look. After we are happy with the appearance, we can correct some of the stretched areas around the lips. Right click the top layer and go down to add layer mask. Then select the first option, white with full opacity. Make sure the mask is selected by clicking on it. Then change your foreground color to black and select the brush tool. We will be brushing around the outlines of the drips, so adjust your brush smaller if you need to. Now I'm just going to brush around these drips, revealing the bottom layer to hide the warped skin around them. And that's it. You've created an awesome drip effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.